guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa, if you guys are new here, and typically I film lifestyle, beauty, fashion, vlog type of videos, but it looks like I'm gonna be entering into the car industry as well. I don't know, I'm just kidding. We'll see, we'll see how this video goes. So for today's video, as you guys can see from the title, I'm gonna be going through the reasons as to why I picked Tesla as my first car. If you guys have been following me along on Instagram, or if you actually saw my last vlog where I vlogged the entire process of me picking up my car, you guys will know that I recently bought myself my very first car. This was one of the biggest financial decisions I've ever made. So I obviously took it very seriously. It took many, many, many months of research into what car to get, if I should get the used Tesla or the new Tesla, which model Tesla, just all of these decision factors. I think I will be doing a couple more videos, especially the next one will be on why I decided to buy a used one versus a new one. But for the sake of this video today, I'm gonna just be going through why I picked Tesla as my very first car. Even if you are watching this and either you're not ready to buy a car yet or maybe you're not even looking at Teslas, I feel like this video might actually be useful for you because it might give you some things that you can consider if you haven't already or maybe you are looking at getting a Tesla and maybe this will influence you to get a Tesla. I don't know. We'll see. And I know that Teslas have such a huge male fan base. So if you're watching this and you're, you know, wanting a different perspective, here I am. I can provide a different perspective as well as you will see later in my reasoning. So before I go into this video, I do want to say that if you are looking to purchase a Tesla or place your order, you can use my referral code down below and get 1500 free supercharging kilometers or 1000 free supercharging miles. If you are from the States, I'm from Canada, so we're going to get 1500 kilometers. But yeah, without any further ado, let's get this video started. So to structure this video, I'm actually going to be going through my reasons from the most important to the least important, but still important to me personally. That's the way I'm going to structure my video. I also do want to preface this by saying that once again, I did do months of research. I also talked to a bunch of my friends who own Teslas and I also secretly joined their Facebook group um, prematurely to ask all those people questions. I still encourage you to do your own research still. There's so much to learn about this car. So even if you are watching this, if I have missed any points, please leave a comment down below because I love to learn about this car and even other people who are reading the comments can benefit from this and I'll pin some of the top comments or the top knowledge comments that you guys may have. So kicking off with the very first reason and most important reason for me in this car and really what appealed to me, there's absolutely no maintenance. At least there's pretty much no maintenance. When we're talking about Teslas versus, you know, any gasoline car, and maybe this is other electric cars too, but I'm not sure sure about the other electric cars but with Tesla specifically because that's the one that I was researching you don't have to worry about things like oil change and engine light or whatever it is I've never owned a car but just driving my family's car and previously driving my partner's car I just have always been so overwhelmed by all of these different components of cars that it just was something I completely dreaded. I don't know if you guys saw that one TikTok by Flossie Baby where she goes in to get an oil change and she jokes that her car has diabetes because there's pretty much just like so many people that try to scam girls when people go in to just get a simple oil change because they can say all this jargon and you as someone that doesn't know about cars that much, you're probably gonna fall for it. <laughs> Yeah, like he said there's something wrong with like the ignition or the transmission or I think my car has diabetes. That was always something that I tried to avoid, especially in the past when I would watch my parents or like see how car owners take care of their cars. It just really confused me. That process was so overwhelming. So the fact that with Teslas, all you really have to do in terms of maintenance for the car is really changing the windshield wiper, also changing your tires season over season, especially if you also live in Canada, you probably need to change your tires from summer to winter or whatever it is. But besides that, there really isn't that much maintenance unless if it's like a warm 
warranty issue to do with the car, but there isn't something regular that you have to go in for. So that was really appealing to me to not have to worry about all of those things that could take up more time, headaches, and etc. The next reason that I really wanted the Tesla was, hello, the self-driving feature. If I'm going to be buying a car, why not also buy a chauffeur, basically? No other car is gonna self-drive itself. This was such a appealing thing to me, especially because I got the chance to drive my friend Eric's car and just watching it drive itself is absolutely phenomenal. And there's obviously your basic self-driving and then you have the full self-driving. I was talking about the full self-driving. That is something that I really, really wanted. This is gonna be up to your own preference and your trust in Elon Musk, but I don't know, I trust Elon Musk more than most men. So I'm gonna go with the full self-driving anyway. So full self-driving was something that I was very, very much into because I already got to test drive it and loved it. This is already why I chose to look at the Tesla versus any other electric car because no other electric car is gonna self-drive itself. To give you a very quick overview, the self-driving car will start, stop, and then if you have the full package, it will even turn for you. So it's just something that I really wanted. Obviously, this is gonna be on preference. The next point that is extremely important to me was sentry mode. If you guys don't know what sentry mode is, Tesla has cameras pretty much 360 around the car. There's one in the front, one in the back, and then two on the sides between the two doors. And these cameras have the potential to be on 24 seven and will alert you if there's an incident that happens or whatever, and it will save all the footage. And this feature actually became extremely, extremely important to me because previously when I was driving my ex-partner's car, there was an incident where I was parked at a mall. And when I came back to the car, there was someone who hit the car and drove off. We couldn't find any security footage in the mall and there was no security system in his car. So we ended up having to pay for all the damages. We couldn't really recover obviously the cost and we didn't want to go through insurance either. And we were never able to find out that person. So with sentry mode, it was just super important to me that the car is constantly recording even when you're not driving. So even when you're parked and you're not there, sentry mode is always, always, always on. And for me, that just felt so much more secure. I've also been in an incident where I was the passenger and our car got hit and it wasn't really our fault, but because we didn't have proof, we ended up having to split the cost 50-50. Basically all in all, the whole camera system and just the recording system became so important to me after those two incidences. Also, I thought was really interesting that even when you park, the two cameras can also show you your distance from the sides as well. If you guys are struggling with parking, you get the front back cameras, but you also get the side cameras as well. Also, this reminded me for full self-driving, there are also features where the car can park for you and parallel park. So if you guys are struggling with that, then this is a feature in the full self-driving as well. So the next reason is an obvious one, which is environmental reasons. If you guys are new to my channel and you don't know what I do, I do shoot content on Instagram. I also shoot content as you are watching on YouTube. So there are a lot of times that I'm driving around just, you know, scouting out locations or just taking pictures or just driving somewhere where almost, I don't want to say for no reason, but I also have the type of personality that constantly needs to leave. Like I just like to just drive to a mountain and look at a scenery. I just really like not staying in one place, that sense of freedom that it gives me. With that being said, I feel like when I would drive my parents' car or my ex-partner's car, I would never even want to do that because I'd be like, wow, what a waste of gas, what a waste of mileage, etc., etc." But then now with the electric car, I feel less guilty about it. I know the battery is still a huge impact, but I think overall in terms of environmental impact, this one will still be less than a regular gasoline car. That being said, besides the environment, you also never have to visit a gas station again, unless if maybe you're, I don't know, buying something or you're washing your car, but you don't have to visit a gas station ever again. That was another reason that this really, really appealed to me because I just love driving. Okay. So the next reason that I really love this car is because this is going to be one of the only cars on the market. If not the only, like I said, I don't know about every single car in the world, but I'm going to say it's probably the only car where after you drive your car out of the dealership, your car could 
could potentially get better. Now hear me out. So every car that you buy or whoever buys, you drive out, that is gonna be the best condition your car is ever gonna be, the highest features that it will ever have. When it comes to Teslas, because it's electric, there's so many software components, you can drive away with the car and Elon Musk can release another software update and your car suddenly becomes better. For example, as you guys are probably aware, your car honking could just be a regular honk and then out of nowhere for Christmas, the software update now allows you to change your honk sound. There's no other car in the market that I don't think where your car develops new features or gets better or improves itself. So I thought that was really interesting because the car is always getting better even with the full self-driving. The next reason is honestly because of, I wanna say like cult mentality or whatever. But one thing that I have noticed about Tesla drivers and just to give you guys context, two of my best friends and my really close neighbor friend, all three of my friends have Teslas. The way in which they love their Teslas is more than any car owner loves their car. So hear me out. My ex-partner was extremely enthusiastic about cars. He's one of those guys where they're just so obsessed with sports cars, like rims, like whatever. I've actually learned a lot about cars from him. I've also driven his car a lot. To give you guys an idea, it was a Audi S3. So after driving that, I think it's a fabulous car, fabulous. But just hearing about him talking about cars versus Tesla owner talking about cars, I could just see a huge difference still. Both people love their cars, but there's nothing compared to people who own Teslas. Let me tell you, since this was going to be such a huge financial decision of mine, I really wanted to feel that much love for something that I'm going to be spending so much money on. And I wanted to feel that same level of love that I see from all these other Tesla owners versus even just like very enthusiastic sports drivers. You know, in general, after even driving such a great gas car, after test driving only a few times on the Tesla, still preferred the drive of the Tesla, the experience and everything. So that was also something I got to experience firsthand that really helps me figure out the difference as well. The last reason that made me really want to get a Tesla is because of all these special features that Teslas have. I'm not gonna go into all the special features because I think I'm gonna do another video on it on all my favorite features and all the really, really cool cool features of a Tesla. One of the best ones that I personally love about the Tesla, actually I'm going to say two. The first one is I absolutely love that I do not ever have to carry a key. My key is my phone. I'm actually very, very into tech and my entire house is smart homed. So I have a smart lock. I actually don't even carry a key around to go into my building, to go into my house because everything is digital for me to just carry a car key. It's not that it's that big of a nuisance. This is why this is the last reason, but I just think it's super cool that the key is also on your phone. There is also a physical card key if you want, but predominantly I just pretty much use my phone as my key. For that reason, I just absolutely love that I don't have to carry another key around and now my phone is a key to literally everything. You can't steal my phone because then my life will be gone. So the next feature that I also really like, which I actually discovered very recently, if you guys have been watching my Instagram story, they have this thing called like a home link or something like that. Basically what it is, is you can remotely connect your car to your garage. The minute you pull up to your garage, it will open for you and you don't even need a button. You just tap it on the screen. Like I said, if you set it to be automatic, you can literally just roll up and then the door will open for you pretty much. These are just some of the features. There are so so many more features that I'm so enthusiastic about that I'm probably gonna get into in another video, but that's pretty much just some of my favorite ones. That's pretty much the last reason as to why this convinced me to get a Tesla. Before concluding the video, I also do wanna say that obviously cost was a huge, huge, huge factor to the decision because obviously Teslas are not cheap. I think where it allowed me to decide to just hold off, save up enough for a Tesla is because all of these features were worth the extra cost to me. I know as a first car, I could have spent very sizable, humble amount on a first car. However, because like I said, I wanted to absolutely love my car. I wanted to be able to enjoy some of these features. I held off a little bit longer just to save more money in order to buy the car that I really, really, really wanted and was gonna love. I also have the type of personality where if I don't actually get the thing that I really wanted, even if 
I get something that's kind of a knockoff, I will continue to think about it until I actually get the real thing. Knowing that from previous decisions when it comes to designer bags or clothing or whatever it may be. When it came to this decision, I made a very firm choice to wait until I had enough money in order to buy the one that I actually wanted instead of spending it a little bit earlier on a car that I didn't love as much. I know Teslas are really expensive, but if any of these features that I've mentioned also appeal to you, I honestly think it is worth the wait. The way that I drive this car has been so different than the many, many years I've driven my parents' car, my ex-partner's car. It's just been super, super different. I can't say enough how much I'm in love with this car. I think I'm part of the cult now. This is definitely a cult. I am officially a member legally because before I joined, you know, illegally. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be releasing a lot more Tesla videos. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and follow along. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.